spray and flagrant I divorced my wife, but I'm still in love with her In real life, rest in peace to my PlayStation The verse you made in seven days like Revelation My weapon is an evident display of dedication Come my task in the place that I'm at Yeah, what's up? Truth 505, Channel 27 Going worldwide with this one right here Kick you back here with the Bronx rapper C. Ray Walls, what did you see? <laughs> Yo, I see everything slipping now. We good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the same level. Is this the first time you've been in New Mexico? Man, it's the first time where they really counted. You know what I'm saying? Where I felt like it was gonna be crazy. You know, I've been here a couple of times, but it's been like eight years, so it's too long. It's here now, you know what I mean? Hip hop's changed over eight years. Definitely, I think it's changed a lot. Where a lot of new material getting pushed out. I don't really got no roots, but. You've been doing your thing for a minute. There's still real people that are going to represent you. So I'd rather cater to a few real people with a million idiots. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Two Max. You know what I'm saying? My fans will kill you! <laughs> Some shit like that. Nice, nice. And I listen to you. Um, your music, you're a real diverse artist. Um, what makes you, you know, change it up You know, from this way to that way? And this is no name, but still representing for hip hop. I try to just represent what I live in life. You know what I'm saying? I like comic books, I like weed, I like violence, I like the science of nature, metaphysics, I like God, body, energy, I like babies, you know, I like breasts, I like money, I like ABC, food stamps, I like graffiti, I like guns, I like skateboarding, cars, I like Jordans, I like fat asses, you know what I'm saying, I like drugs, I like piercing, I like tattoos, you know, I try to bring that all in, so it was so it's just a regular conversation, the same that you would get from me in real life. Get that to the music, but with, with the beat to it, you know, transform it a little bit. That's funky, man. Keeping it funky right, right there, you know. Now, um, real diverse crowd that you, you know, you rock with on stage. Who, who has been some of the, you know, the top, you know, uh, performer rocking with C. Ray Walls out of all the, you know, stages you rock, bar none? Man, um, doing the beatbox with Dougie Fresh is crazy. Um, Rocking with Fred Wesley in the band that I'm in right now, April and April. She's about to go to Europe right now. That's, that's pretty crazy. Rocking with Manish Yahoo. And, um, already a rugged man. You know, everybody bring a different energy in. The consistent part is that they get in sea raisers, and that's it. You know, just to be respected by people who have hip hop history and been listening to hip hop over for over 10 years and do what I have been doing to get love from both of those. That's all I really do. You know, enough money to buy pampers and dinner and shit, I'm good. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Can you tell us a little bit about you know, hip hop in the Bronx? Originality, you know. I came outside with my fat laces, flipped up a certain way, and you came with yours. You know, it's gonna be a fight. Like the originality was the main thing. So I think everybody from the Bronx, you gotta it's something you gotta have in your own sound and not sound like nobody. And you know, I grew up listening to the pillars, people who taught me hip hop and I think how to be a man was KRS one, Black Kim, Fuji Rap, Desmo, you know what I'm saying, the daddy came. I'm beginning. Those are my ingredients mixed up right there. So with that, with my own style, my conversation, the way I do it, I bring those images and those conversations that they taught, but with my own, you know, my own twist on it. I don't sound like nobody. My voice don't sound like nobody. But when I get on the track with people, I try to cater to their style too. It's just my own version of it, you know. So. Keep on elevating, man, and, uh, you know, any advice for the young hip-hop heads, man? You want to, you know, give any shout-outs out there, you know? Some of you have the, the, the signing right here, man, but any advice to those, those young cats coming here with their swag, you know, doing it their way, you know, any advice to those, young, those youngsters out there? And any shout-outs, you know, C. Ray Walls wants to hit them off with before we sign off right here? Yo, first and foremost, man, everybody wearing their pants hanging all the way down with your ass cheeks exposed and shit. That's not fresh, man. Because if you wouldn't do that in front of your mother, you know? And if you had a daughter, you really want to you really want, want to explain to her why daddy got his pants hanging down so you can see his underwear and his penis and shit in the front. That's some gay jail shit. So, I mean, I'm not hating him to say that shit is setting back the energy of progressive history. So, that, that shit. But other than that, with hip hop, we do the history. You know, don't, don't just sit here to the financial aspects of it. You know, understand that hip hop is about community, 
connected people, being a man or a woman, you know, learning some morals, some values, and a little, a little work. polish on your staff. You just want to look at hip hop artists and be like, all right, I can take like a little piece of C Ray's style and add it to my own. You know what I mean? Like C Ray's keep it real and talk to the people. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that this year too. Upon whatever everything else I'm doing, you know. You should be able to get more from me than, you know, a fashion statement. Well, you know. Stop stop catering to that hip hop that make you feel intimidated and mad at me. And you can't get the girl if you don't got the most expensive car and shit. You know? That shit that makes you think you ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? That you got a gun and you ready to kill motherfuckers. Shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some jail shit. The toughest shit, the toughest shit to do is be to be like, yo, pardon me, brother. You know what I mean? It's a misunderstanding. I apologize. I need no disrespect. You know what I mean? Somebody like that, you'll be you'll be alive for a long time in jail. And the top is like, yo, I'm fucking anything out. Alright. I think you can go to the bathroom. You know? So just keep that respect going. Support real hip hop. You can listen to the other shit. I'm gonna dance to some shit, but you know, I'm gonna listen to that good shit and be inspired by it. You know, and support C Ray Walls, cause I make that good shit for your ears, your mother, babies, your woman, your crew. Well, big ups to C Ray Walls right here, man. Mad love, mad respect. Keep representing for hip hop going worldwide with this video right here. Channel 27, Truth Five. Desert Bandits. Live, Desert Bandits. Strong big ups. Yes. Come on, man. What love, y'all? Hip hop. 